In a small coastal village in Sri Lanka, there was a boy named Sami. Sami lived in a house by the sea because his father was a fisherman. Early in the morning before the sun peeked out of the clouds, Sami's father would set off on his sampan to go fishing. In the late morning, Sami would climb up the coconut tree to look out for his father's sampan coming back with a day's catch. One day, when Sami was climbing down the tree to welcome his father back, he noticed the worried look on his father's face. What's wrong, Papa? he asked. We only caught enough fish to feed ourselves, not enough to sell in the market. Sami's father replied. This made Sami very worried too because it meant that they would not be getting money from the fish to buy other food items for the family. Sami walked along the shore. After thinking long and hard, he finally exclaimed, Aha! I will go to each house in this village and ask them if I could borrow one cup of rice. That's not a lot to ask for. So off he went with a sack in his hand. When he got to the first neighbour's house, he asked the neighbour, Please, may I borrow one cup of rice? My father did not catch enough fish to sell at the market, so we could not buy any rice today. The neighbour replied, I will lend you one cup of rice if you give me back two cups of rice in return. Sami thought it was a fair deal. So off he went with his one cup of rice. At the second neighbor's house, Sami asked for two sweet potatoes. I will give you the sweet potatoes, but I want one fish in return, said the neighbor. My father is a fisherman. I could do that, said Sami. So off he went with his one cup of rice and two sweet potatoes. Sami continued to spend the rest of the day borrowing food from his neighbours until his sack could fit no more. The sun was setting and Sami's parents were getting worried. Just as they were about to go out to look for him, Sami barged in and said, Papa, Mama, I gathered all this food. We don't have to worry if Papa doesn't catch any fish tomorrow. This food will last us forever. Immediately, the faces of his father and mother went dim. Sami, where did you get all this food from? Sami's father asked him. The neighbours, they all said that I could have this food as long as I gave them something in return. Sami replied, Sami, what did you promise our neighbours? Sami's mother asked him. For one cup of rice, we just need to return two cups of rice when we have it. That's easy because we usually have a sack full. Sami replied, Yes, Sami, it's easy to return two cups of rice to one person. But when you have borrowed from so many people, it will add up to a mountain full, said his father. And the sweet potatoes? Sami's mother asked. No problem. I told everyone that I would give them one fish in return for two sweet potatoes, said Sami. Sami, that's even worse. The value of one fish is so much more than two sweet potatoes. We could buy an entire sack of rice with one fish, but sweet potatoes are worthless, said his father. Then we should sell all our fish, and by many sacks of rice, exclaimed Sami. Sami's mother and father looked at each other, unsure whether to laugh or get mad. 
They sat him down and explained to him that it was a bad habit to take things from other people. It's not good to borrow from so many people at one time. Even though it may seem like a small amount that you take from one person, it adds up to become a huge amount before you realize it, Sami's mother said. Immediately after, Sami's parents took the big sack of food and went around the village with Sami to apologize and return all the food that Sami had taken. When they reached the last person's house, the neighbor said, You have already borrowed and agreed to give me two cups of rice in return. I will not accept this. Sami, his mother and his father looked at each other worriedly. Sami was about to open his mouth to explain, but before he could say anything, the neighbour interrupted. I was just joking, young man. Why don't you come on in for some sweet potato curry? Sami looked at his parents for approval, who nodded at him. He hopped happily into the neighbour's house and exclaimed, Okay, I promise to give you many sweet potatoes in return. <laughs>